Hey guys, Anthony here with Airstream DFW. I want to show you something we just got in today. It's a 2021 Airstream Globetrotter 30RB. It's, an, it's a relatively new floor plan. They introduced it uh, the end of last year. We just got our first one a few months ago. Uh, it is an incredible floor plan. Uh, if you've seen a 30 before, it's the same size, but a little bit different on the inside. We'll, we'll see that in just a minute. But the Globetrotter's got some great standard features. It's got the, the power awning is standard on the Globetrotter. Uh, it's got the window awning package that uh, gives you some awnings on the off door side as well as an awning on the back. Here at Airstream DFW, we always get in with two airs, so this does have the two air conditioners on it. We are in Texas, so we want to make sure it stays nice and cool when you're out there camping. I know you're excited to see the inside. I am too. Let's jump inside and see it. All right guys, like I said, this is the, the, the new 30-foot Globetrotter, relatively new 30-foot Globetrotter. And if you've seen the 30-foot floor plan before, this is quite different. Uh, what they did on the Globetrotter is 30s, they really designed it for seating space. So if you've, got, uh, if you've got a lot of people that you need to seat, this is a great floor plan for it. A lot of folks don't necessarily care about the dinette. They don't need the dinette. They'd rather have more lounge space. And you really accomplish that with this floor plan. Um, I don't know if you can see, but the lounge runs from right here over here to my left all the way around to there. So, man, you can seat a lot of people on this floor plan. Uh, you don't lose sleeping space though. A lot of people, that's the first thing they're gonna, they're gonna ask when they see this floor plan. You still get two extra beds. So you do have a bed there and you do have a bed here as well. So you could sleep you know, five to six people in here. Kind of depends on how much everybody likes each other. So you do have some extra sleeping space. One of the things the Globetrotter is really uh, focused on is a very contemporary, very modern look. Uh, we are in the natural elm wood, wood decor with the Barcelona blue uh, uh, material on the seats. Uh, you can also get it with a London gray, which is a little bit of a lighter color. Uh, if you don't love the light cabinets, they do offer it in a, a dark wood option as well. But lots of storage. You've got these nice big storage compartments up in the front. Uh, nice rounded effect on the cabinets. Really gives it a modern look. Uh, nice heavy hinges, that's one of the things Airstream is known for. When you look at an Airstream, you're not going to see a lot of corners cut. Uh, and they use heavy hinges on all the cabinets. Uh, wood that they actually laminate in-house, bend in-house. Uh, most everything you see on an Airstream is actually built by Airstream, which is very unique in this industry. But again, lots of storage space, lots of nice lighting. So uh, one of the great things about Airstream is going to be the windows. And this 30-foot floor plan does not disappoint there either. You've got the great big panoramic window across the front, and then you've got windows all down this side also. So when you're out camping, you're really going to feel like you're in the outdoors. Uh, you won't feel like you're inside of a cave. Um, one thing we do get on this too, and I, I didn't mention it outside, we do have a solar package on this also. Uh, when we look at the refrigerator here in a little bit, you'll understand why. Uh, speaking of the kitchen, let's step inside and look at the kitchen next. All right, guys, here in the kitchen, you got... Lots of countertop space in the 30, which is nice. You do have two covers here that cover this nice deep single bowl sink, uh, residential style fixture with the pull down here. So again, a lot of your stuff that you see in Airstream is similar to what you'd see in a house. Nothing plastic, uh, nothing cheap, really high, nice end fixtures. Lots of storage space in this floor plan. Nice big drawer there. Nice big drawer there also. Um, one of the things about Airstream drawers is they are fully finished out, so there's no bare wood anywhere inside your cabinets. Uh, a little bit, a little bit of a, a trash can back here, or you can use it as a compost bin if you want to. Uh, you can use it to chill drinks also. Again, lots of nice storage. Nice big cabinets overhead. Um, if you are vertically challenged, there are some mirrors back here in the back, so you can kind of see what's down in these cabinets if you are a little shorter. Um, three burner cooktop, the front burner is a high pressure burner, but you also have a drop down cover. So again, you can kind of use this whole space for prep if you want to. More drawers, I mean, man, there is tons and tons and tons of storage in this floor plan. And then the convection microwave. So uh, we do typically get that on our Airstreams here at Airstream and DFW. Um, you can get a gas oven if you prefer, but we tend to order them with the convection microwave combo. That does do both. So it does act like a microwave. It will also broil. It will also bake uh, some cookies if you want. Again, talking about storage, one of the things that's unique about the 30 Globetrotter versus the 30 Flying Cloud International is they shorten this kitchen up just a hair, but man, it gives you this nice, big, deep um, um, sliding pantry. So lots of storage space nice deep cabinet there so if you need a place for pots and pans and that sort of thing that is a perfect cabinet for it 
Again, I mentioned this is a natural elm. If you're not a big fan of the light wood, you can get it. They do have a walnut decor also that you can get it in. Uh, I didn't mention this when I was talking about the seating area, but this table here, uh, you, you, even though you don't have a dinette, you do still have a place to sit and eat if you want. Um, there is a storage spot for the table, so the table will completely come out if you want and you can get it out of the way. Uh, TVs. You get two TVs in, in your globe trotter. Uh, one here in the living area, and you will get another TV back in the bedroom, which we'll see in a little bit. And uh, The TV is on a pivot arm, so you can move it out and turn it if you would like. Again, lots of great windows. I mean, there's so many windows in this floor plan. So much natural light. Uh, nice LED lights, too. And you can actually dim those lights. So if you wanted to bring the lights down a little bit at night, you can make it a little less intense. I mentioned the airs outside. Two airs, and something Airstream did a few years ago is they went to their new quiet stream system. So this air conditioning is all fully ducted through the roof. Um, it's got a couple of great benefits. One is going to be noise. You, you don't hear the air conditioners. If, you, if you're in an older Airstream and you try to watch TV with the airs running, it's very noisy. This new system is very quiet. It also gives more head space. So I'm six foot two just for, you know, relative, so you can see kind of how tall I am. I still have plenty of head space here above me. Uh, and one final thing about the kitchen um, is the Globetrotter 30 actually has the biggest refrigerator of all the Airstreams in the, in the lineup. You'd get a 10 cubic foot refrigerator. Um, it is a compressor based refrigerator, so it cools off very quickly. Um, it will still run off 12 volt or 110, so you can still run it when you're going down the road. But because of that, that's why we typically try to get the solar package on all the Globetrotter trailers. So as you move back towards the back of the Airstream, uh, you have the split bath set up. They do this in a lot of the Airstreams. Um, it gives you, um, for one, it gives a nice hallway down. It makes, you really, makes the trailer feel nice and long. Uh, but two, it splits the toilet and sink area. So that's all in here um, with the shower, which I'll show you in a minute. A porcelain stool, that's really nice. You don't really want a plastic toilet in an RV. Um, I always talk about that, but you really are going to want that porcelain stool in the RV. Uh, something new for 2021, the Airstream went to a tankless water heater system. All of your controls are there in the bathroom. And you do also have air conditioning ducts in the bathroom, which is really nice because a lot of times you do not get that in a lot of RVs. You'll be hot when you're inside your bathroom. But you do have uh, air conditioning vents in there as well as a, um, uh, a, a exhaust vent in there. Lots of nice storage in there. Uh, speaking of storage, nice big double door closet here. Plenty of storage space in there for all your hanging clothes. Um, again, all laminated in-house, all real wood, no particle board. Everything is screwed and glued together in an Airstream. Uh, and then your nice big shower here. So uh, really nice, big, spacious. I can get in it. Got plenty of space. Again, residential style fixtures, uh, all uh, uh, fiberglass inside here with a seat. So um, if you are even taller than me, you can get in the shower and use the shower. You just have to sit down. All right, guys, let's take a look at the bedroom next. All right, guys, now we're in your bedroom. Uh, this is the queen bed setup. There is, a, there is a twin bed option if you like. Airstream doesn't give you a lot of options when it comes to your trailer, but you could go with the twin bed setup if you wanted to. The twin beds are a little bit longer, so if you're taller, you may like the twin bed setup more. Um, lots of nice storage again. Nice big cabinets over the bed here. And again, tons of windows. You got the panoramics on, on this end also. Um, really one of the nice things about when you get into the bigger Airstreams is you do get the panoramics on both sides. Um, I didn't mention this earlier, but this is also a wide body setup also. So when you're inside this trailer, it does feel quite a bit bigger. Even though you don't have slide outs, it does feel very spacious inside. You get windows on both sides. So uh, if you get a nice breeze outside, you can open both of these windows and Airstream windows open really large. So you get a tremendous amount of airflow through these windows. Um, your thermostat's back here. So it is a, a zone system for your air conditioners. I mentioned you have two airs. Um, they are both controlled by the same thermostat, but you can set the zone temperatures differently. So if you wanted it to, to be a little cooler in the bedroom, a little warmer up here, however you like it, you can set that according to your, uh, your um, um, taste. Uh, do you have a two t second TV back here, which I mentioned earlier? And uh, speaking of storage, uh, you do have a lot of storage under the bed also. So really a, a ton of storage under here. Um, this is a great place to see all of the, the wood that they use in the Airstream. Again, very heavy duty wood, all framed out in the bed. The storage, storage tubs do come with the trailer also. You can access these tubs with the bed down. So again, tons and tons of storage in your Airstream. 
Um, and Airstream warranty, we, let's talk about that real quick. Airstream has a, a full two year warranty on their trailer. So um, everything that the Airstream manufactures is, is, is warranted for a full two years. All right guys, that's it. The 2021 Airstream Globetrotter 30RV. It's a great floor plan. If you want something with that modern look, it's an awesome choice for that. But if you don't want something this big, if you want something smaller, if you want something in between, we can get that for you here at Airstream at DFW. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or have any recommendations on content you'd like to see, make sure to drop a comment in the comment section below. If you enjoy our content, give us a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Airstream at DFW.